So welcome back to beekeepers and future beekeepers. We're requeening today. Enjoy the video. So today we're going to requeen this hive and uh, we purchased some new queens. So here we go. We're actually going to use a queen cage. which helps acclimate the queen to the new hive. We got to find the old queen first. And we'll start that process now. More than likely you're not going to find her on a frame like that. She's going to be on a frame of brood. She is a marked queen. She is Got some brood on this next frame. Maybe she's in there. Okay, we've gone through all of them and I haven't found the queen yet. You want to give me a hand trying to find it, Karen? Here she is. Okay. Okay, so we've found the queen. And we're going to go ahead and catch her and put her in a... In a holder. We're going to put her in a... In a holder. So we've placed the queen into a different holder that was originally in here. We'll probably put her in a nuke or something like that later on to help make more bees and so on and so forth. We're going to put the, the Italian queen that we got and put it in here. So we're going to go ahead and get the queen cage. So this is the type of frame you want to look for. you got some emerging brood with some, some food, the honey. You don't want to have any of the other bees in your frame. So you take your frame, so you want to press this down through there because you got the perfect place on a frame with emerging brood. Press it into the frame as hard as you can. We're just going to uncork her and we're going to place her, place this whole thing in there. Lift it back up. So now she can get out. So now she can get out and we're going to put some rubber bands around it to hold her in there. We just want to keep, keep that cage on there until she starts laying brood. So as you can see, the queen's already out. Bring this closer. So there's the queen. She's she's loose. She's out. We're going to put another rubber band on it. And we'll place her back into the colony. Two frames back in there. And we're going to check back up on her in a couple days, three to two. And the other bees will feed her through there. The emerging new bees will, will call her mom, basically, because she's the only queen they know. And once she starts laying eggs, we'll release her to the entire hive. So there you have it, folks. We've introduced the queen. We'll be back in a couple days. Got her? No. Oh, there she is. She's little. 
So we found the old queen. So now we're looking for the perfect frame to put the cage on. And this one here looks pretty good because we've got brood there. I'm going to take a look at the other. Yeah, so we'll put the cage in here. So we're going to put the cage right up here, just like that, where we get the nectar, some brood, and we're not going to have any of the uh, the bees in it, though. So we're going to brush the bees away. You have the the new queen. Yeah. Okay. So we're brushing the bees away. We found a good spot for it. Make sure there's no bees up underneath here. They're sneaky. Pressing it down in place. We're going to take these rubber bands and make sure it stays there. The queen is already roaming about. And there she is. She's already checking out the comb. Hopefully you can see this. I'm pointing right at it. Maybe you can see the green dot on her back. And I'll give her a moment to walk around. There she is. Seems to be bashful. She's traveling around looking for perfect place to lay some eggs. So we're going to go ahead and put it back in there. And this one has been requeened with a new queen. Then we'll check back to see if we got some eggs in a couple days with everything back in here. And when she gets acclimated and she's laying eggs, the other bees accept her. We'll take that queen cage off and we'll have a much more productive hive by requeening like that. There's another one requeened. So thanks for watching the video. Please hit subscribe, like, and the bell for future notifications. Have a great day.